well 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 what do we have here we here have the Poco F3 unboxing hey peeps what's up Manji here back with another video and we have a new device for the channel this one is the Poco F3 Arctic White 6 GB RAM 128 GB ROM made by Xiaomi in China again a European variant and why did I get the European variant once again I will answer that but I will leave a timestamp to that so that those of you who are here to watch the unboxing do not get bored with the talk of why I got the European variant anyways I am going to use my paper clip to remove the packaging from the side and here it is the box of the Poco F3 let us open the box and see what do we have inside and it is a bit tight but here it is welcome to the Poco family thank you for choosing Poco head of Poco global a box on top and let us open and see what do we have here sim ejector tool some poco stickers the manuals and yes you do have a case in the box which is a good touch now this is a tpu case of course and please 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 make sure you do recycle things so this is again a tpu case it does have some texture on the inside what do we have here this my dear friends is the star of the show let us keep it aside for some time and try to turn it on as well so it is turning on right now what else do we get in the box so you have your charger and this should be a 33 watt charging brick and here it is 33 watt charger let me try to focus on this and there it is made by xiaomi of course the claims of an independent company are of course fake news then you do have the type a to type c cable with some accent colors does look pretty good now i was supposed to get some headphones as well so here it is the european variant does come with headphones now as far as i know this guy doesn't have a 3.5 mm jack so i think there should be a type c adapter yes so i missed it but you do have a type c to 3.5 mm adapter which does come with the box as well so here it is type c to 3.5 mm jack all these things i know are useless for you and you don't really care about it let me change the focus a little bit and the lighting as well so here it is my friends the star of the show we are on the miui 12 setup screen but before that as you can see you do have the specs mentioned 870 with 5g 120 hertz amoled panel 6.67 dolby atmos dual speakers high resolution 48 megapixel triple camera let us go ahead and take this off look for or listen for the awesome soothing unboxing of a device whoa before we proceed any further let me take off the imi stickers from the back so here we are me ui 12 in the building front camera you do have a screen protector already installed and this is how the back looks like doesn't it look pretty dope right have a look at that back and why did i get the white version i got the white version because i had watched a few reviews and they said it's not a fingerprint magnet as you can see no fingerprints not a fingerprint magnet a great feel now what else do we have speakers up top over here you have the volume rockers and the power button now the power button is not like indented like it is on the poco x3 pro this one is like a normal button and it acts as your fingerprint scanner as well speakers on the bottom type c port sim card and let us take out the sim card tray so this here is the sim card tray dual sim and no micro sd slot you do have the rubber gasket 
other than that what else do we have this side nothing else so let me do one thing let me go ahead and skip the initial setup and then we can talk more about the device now a pro tip while doing the setup make sure you turn off all these things personalized ads turn it off similarly for glance for me turn it off as well no thanks and user experience program i turn all of these things off why do i do this i do this because if i don't do that then i will get advertisements from xiaomi or poco whatever you want to call them in the miui interface all right peeps here we are poco f3 in the building it is running miui global stable version 12.0.2.0 based on android one security patches from february 2021 now this guy here is 7.8 mm thick on the front you have gorilla glass 5 and on the back also you have gorilla glass 5 do not get fooled by this silver trim all along the side of the device because this here is a plastic frame the device has a 6.67 inch amoled panel which of course has a refresh rate of 120 megahertz with a touch sampling rate of 360 hertz then you also get hdr 10 plus and of course you should get wide wine l1 along with a 20 megapixel snapper on the front which does look pretty good right now i do not see any issues or any shades of gray around the camera cutout then as i mentioned earlier this is the arctic white the back is not a fingerprint magnet because this is more of a matte white finish which is why i got this white version then you do have the poco branding do note this device is being sold as the mi 11x in india this one will have nfc as well and here are your camera sensors so you have a primary 48 megapixel then you have 8 megapixel wide and a 5 megapixel macro if you are wondering about what is this fourth camera well this is not a camera it is a microphone and they use this for audio zoom feature so let us say you're recording somebody's voice from the rear camera if you move away it is going to detect that you are moving away from the object which is talking and then it will increase the sensitivity of the mic so that is something which we will have to test out as for the main camera this is a sony imx582 and unfortunately no 4k 60 fps on this guy then what else can we check buttons yeah volume rockers very clicky no issues at all power button is also pretty clicky no issue in that regard either do note it does have the snapdragon 870 processor and this is the 6 gb variant with 128 gb internal storage you do get ufs 3.1 with lpddr5 ram now how much space is used out of the box so out of the box 18.5 gb has been used by the operating system itself unfortunately you do not have any 3.5 mm jack on this guy and as for the weight the weight is around 196 grams as i mentioned earlier this is 7.8 mm thick so it it's not like super thick like the poco x3 pro and it's not bad either it does feel pretty premium as for the camera bump let us have a look at the camera bump so it's it is there but it is not like super bad and if you place it on a table it's it's like not wobbling that much so i think this is an acceptable camera bump and another thing you would notice is that the frame kind of has a curve around the volume rockers let us see if that is on the other side as well no so it's not present on the other side it is only present on one side beside the volume rockers as for the wi-fi you do get wi-fi 6.0 on this device and what else am i forgetting yeah battery battery so you get a 4520 milliamp hour battery with a 33 watt charger out of the box and they say it can charge from 0 to 100 in 52 minutes so that is something which we are going to check out as for the bloatware which is installed on this device here is a list of all the applications which are installed out of the box let me see if i can remove the netflix app so app info yes i do have the option of removing the netflix app in case i want to but can i do that with say 
podcast app info yes i can remove podcasts as well so themes i am sure you cannot remove this one because this is a me ui app and of course because this is the poco f3 this one i think would come with poco launcher so here it is poco launcher and am i forgetting something i don't think so so that will do it for this unboxing and those of you who want to know why i got the poco f3 feel free to stick around moving over to the million dollar question why did i get the poco f3 and not the mi 11 x well a friend of mine was coming from europe i asked him to get me the x3 pro and the poco f3 because i was getting them for cheaper it's all about saving your hard-earned money right so i got both those devices they ended up gifting me the poco x3 pro so i only had to pay for the poco f3 other than that another reason is it has nfc then it also has more lte bands so sometimes i do travel and i don't want to be you know restricted with a phone which doesn't have all the necessary lte bands forget about 5g i think even with respect to 5g this should have more bands but i'm pretty sure about 4g so this one has more 4g bands than the indian variant which is the mi 11x then the other issue which i had was all the green tint issues on the screen in india it's like super duper painful to interact with them i have a follower on twitter who's been trying to get his phone replaced they sent him a used phone all those things in this pandemic i don't want to like go through that hassle plus i would have to ask someone for a hdfc card to get a discount and all those things so i'd rather just get the poco f3 and of course i might not get warranty but do not i am going to unlock the bootloader so the warranty will be void so it made all the more sense for me to get the poco f3 because i was getting it cheaper and for the other reasons which i told you and that will do it for this unboxing fellows stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content on the poco f3 and see you when i see you